Gojira is back. After four long years since their amazing album, Magma, that didn't win a Grammy. It had to go to Megadeth. But yeah, they're finally back. And so am I. So I just really say apologies if the uploading has not been consistent or whatever. I was out of the country having some me time. Just so happens when I leave, that's when all the music drops out of nowhere. So I'm back now. And also you might have noticed that I'm on the other side now. And all I'm gonna say is don't worry. It's still the same videos. It's the still the same everything. I'm just on this side now. But yes, Gojira's finally back. It's been so long. Eagerly have been anticipating the release of new music from them. Gojira's a band that pretty much have had a near perfect streak of music. So with that being said, going into this, I'm I've got high expectations. The last album, it was sort of like, not reinventing, but definitely re-showing what a death metal band can do and then and then seeing how they go down the more proggier route and actually making it really good. They did a really good job on that album. Yeah, without wasting any time, let's get into this one. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I've got my coffee and yeah, let's do this. Okay, three, two, one, click. Ooh. Ah, it's fear. Ooh, and straight into that. And straight away, that iconic Gojira sound. Uh, it's probably due to mixing or like, I don't know, just, I just feel like even the writing is just so iconic and so them. It, it's just hard to replicate. Mm, I'm liking this riff. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Yeah. Mm. Are we on an episode of The Simpsons? Turn this up a bit. A little rocket. Ooh. Some SpaceX shit going on. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Animated Gojira. They look great. They look cool. Okay, back to that opening melody. Really nice, really memorable. Back to that chorus. I mean, sorry, back to that verse. Yeah. I like it, it's really cool. Oh, they're talking about wormholes. That old trick with the paper. Back to that chorus. Mmm, I love it. Love it. The virus is spreading. I could definitely imagine, um, I don't know, if, he, if someone had enough money, enough resources, and hated the world so much, they would probably just do this. Just listen. This is Elon Musk's new venture. Ooh. Like, really stripping it back. Very minimalist. And then Joe showing that he can do those really nice sort of, oh, kind of like choral vocals over top. Mm. I really enjoying this animation style. It looks pretty dope. Clearly this is like uh, interstellar vibes. I can tell. Oh, they all look so cute as animated people. So good, so good, so iconic. Okay, and then back to, back to that opening. Ah, mm. oh, 
atmospheric. I wonder what's being said in the background there. Ooh, that lush greenery. What is this other world? Another world? What world? Hmm. I really like the designs for like the spaceship and like all the suits. Ooh. Oh, oh, what's happened? Oh, no. Oh, oh, that twist. Okay, well, it was kind of uh, pretty foreshadowed. That was really fucking cool. That, that was awesome. Awesome. There was this one thing I just want to like re-look at. I don't know if it was like um, sort of like a Easter egg. Hang on. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, Gojira. Okay, okay. I see what you did there, Gojira. I see what you did there. Hmm. Is this your Grammy track? Well, we'll see. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> so that was another world by Gojira. And first of all, I like to point out this the whole uh, animation style and storytelling a part of it um it reminded me of this anime that i watched called dr stone which is sort of has some similarities this so if you know if you like the sort of concept of dystopia where people are trying to rebuild the future i'd say go check out that anime it's really cool and if you've already watched that anime and you know what i'm talking about yeah hit a hit that like button dr stone great show great show can't wait for season two yes but let's dive into this track quite stripped back when it comes to the whole proc thing and the first comparison I can really make is it reminds me a lot of the, I think it was the song Shooting Star off their previous album. The riffs they use are very uh, simplistic, and but that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. I think what's really cool about Gojira is when they do these very um, simple writing or like compositions like this, you really get to hear the nuances of the band. And one of the particular places you'll hear it is in the drumming. Because Mario, the drummer, he he adds a lot of intricacy to his drum parts, even though they sound very uh, simplistic, especially in a track like this, which is really cool. Which is really cool because when you strip back something, you can actually hear everything quite clearly and understand what's really going on. And also with a track like this, what's really interesting is when you also strip back a lot of things, the lyrics start to have more meaning. They're more used as a focal point. That's what I really like as well. It's just like because a lot of music is very congested with a lot of things going on in the mix, the, the track, the composition-wise, the writing-wise. And what happens is the usually the thing people hear less becomes the vocal line. And in this case, it's the opposite. We actually get to focus on the vocal line. We actually get to hear what Joe is talking about, what he's talking, what he's seeing, and his vision for this track. Uh, I also liked that there was that one section where it was just, I think, the drum and bass. And to me, it very closely resembled the like how a drum and bass would sound if it was completely stripped of all sort of processing. Um, it sounded like the raw kit. Probably it's not like truly raw because they probably did have some form of compression or EQ um, on the chain during the recording process. And also if I'm right, this is a uh, recorded, mixed and mastered at uh, Silver Chord, I think it's what it is called. Information is not here, but uh, let me know because I think it means that I think it was Joe who mixed this track as well. So, because Joe has his own studio now, a uh, really cool place, really cool place. Yeah, so it sounds great, it really does. Um, it's very dynamic in nature, so in a way, it does resemble a lot of proggy elements. I don't have much complaints about this track. I am looking forward to see what more they bring to the table for this next album. Because currently it does sound very much like Magma 2.0. It's fine. I kind of hope that they do evolve their sound a bit more. I also assume that they're saving a lot of their more intricate material, a lot more complex writing and composition for the main album. And this is more just a taster, which is a single, of course, as a taster for an audience. And definitely I can see the song also having a lot more mainstream appeal just for how the instrumentation is written in such a way that you really do listen to the vocal line, which is mainly what mainstream music tries to do. The only real thing I wish there was something different was, 
I just wish they went to maybe like a different section, maybe a, a different motif, a different, just, just anything. Cause for most of the track, it was going between that opening uh, riff and the verse and then back and forth with the chorus and everything. It was definitely, it was great. It was repetitive. It did what it needed to do. I just wish they maybe gone somewhere else. The interlude definitely had that sort of ah moment, which was very similar from uh, a shooting star. Yeah, maybe I just wish there was like a different section, maybe a solo, maybe a breakdown um, because they are very capable of it. So, but I do trust this band. I trust their vision and I do trust that the new album will be amazing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to keep updated on this content. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.